hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to be going over my in-game build for Wilson. So I just use a rapid winter's grasp build. So I only use three abilities. I have Aether Jump to kind of move around, uh, Bulwark of Dawn for healing and additional damage, and then winter's grasp, which I just spam to kill everything. Works great. It's a fun play style. It's easy to do and it's very cheap to build. There are a couple downsides to it, but uh, really nothing too bad. From a skill standpoint, Aether Jump, I basically deck it out uh, with no cooldown so I can cast it multiple times, gain a little bit of willpower, some stasis, teleport range, you know, additional willpower cost reduction, that kind of thing. Uh, this casting skill will remove all crowd controls. That's pretty effective, but typically you don't find yourself in that position very often with this. And then Bulwark of Dawn, I mostly just want it to follow me around which this is really good, and then just additional healing, and then of course Sacred Grounds because it does some damage and actually adds stasis to enemies, which really matters for this build a lot. And then Winter's Grasp is the big one. So primarily for this, what you need is Permafrost. So obviously you have to be at a certain stage of the game before you can do this, but it leaves a damaging area on the ground for a few seconds, and this is pretty much the big damage buff that you want. Um, and then it's just cooldown reduction after that. When you get to level 58, 60, give or take, at least as the game is right now, uh, that's when the skill cooldown reduction is gone. So as you see, there is no skill cooldown reduction, so I'm just able to cast it constantly. Now you have to be moving to do that because there's an animation when you're standing still, but if you're moving, that animation's gone, and then that's when you can do that. Uh, they did already nerf it, saying that they removed the cooldown reduction per level, but it doesn't impact me, but you know, it may impact you leveling it up, and uh, so you might need to focus on some cooldown reduction on your gear. Otherwise, when it comes to gear, Aether damage is really important so that you can stack stasis on enemies. So I have a high Aether damage um, staff, so Aether damage for spells in particular, not for attacks. So I use Aether damage in the gems, and then I have just Aether damage on the staff. I also have it on my belt and on my amulet. Beyond that, I am just stacking Rage and Willpower cost reduction so that I don't have to spend a lot. Currently, it costs me 31.9 to cast this, so the more times I can cast it, the better. So I'm stacking that, and then additionally, I'm stacking transfer time decrease between Willpower and Rage. I have that on a lot of different gear, not to mention I'm using gems for that too. So that's a pretty big focus. And then beyond that, I really just want movement speed. I do have cooldown on my... Uh, helmet, but I don't actually need that. It just ended up being a good helmet and uh, I wanted to do So I don't need it, but you might and uh, That's pretty much it for that Pretty simple you can find a lot of this gear without really having to to play too hard and you don't need any uniques Which is nice When it comes to the actual skill points ferocity is where I put pretty much everything a little bit in toughness But really not much. I don't really care too much about it you may benefit from putting some in Wisdom just for the additional chance for the ailment since we're really after stasis in this, but I actually like the spell critical chance. So personal preference, uh, might do more damage if you put some more time into that, but I don't know. I, I do plenty of damage as it is. So far in the game, I've cleared up to Master 109 and I can do it full powered uh, with all the modifiers and everything. And it's, it's really no problem at all. I just haven't finished these other slots yet. So I'm sure I can clear all that content with no problem whatsoever for this. And then when it comes to the skill tree, uh, really the most important node in my opinion is Time Weaver. So when you damage an enemy that is afflicted with stasis, they'll take the damage again after a few seconds. It's 100% of the damage. So pretty much what happens is you're running around throwing, throwing out Winter's Grasp. This is staying on the ground, continuing to hit at full damage and put stasis on it and then they're taking that damage again and again and again so that's pretty much what's happening and then they die and winter's grasp is pretty much your only defensive ability other than running around with this for health so you kind of need it to freeze enemies in place so you don't get smacked and killed immediately because the build is very glass cannon the only other downside i would say for this build is you have to spam willpower potions so you need to have two willpower potions you can't really be using health potions because uh, you pretty much need all the willpower you can get for this one and i would say other than that you know you might see a nerf to this in the future it already got nerfed once but 
that's about it uh, at the end of the video i will show a clip of me just going through the entire tree i'll reset this and i'll go through every single node that i have just so you can see it and i'll also include some gameplay so you can kind of see what it looks like but really it's not much different than uh you know zooming in casting everything throwing some willpower casting this kill everything pick up loot so it really isn't any more complicated than that so if you enjoy this video, give it a like. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions to improve it, feel free to leave those below and subscribe to keep up with my other content. And otherwise, I will catch you guys next time. Contract. Yes, sir.